Hi, Saturday, catch up on what's been happening in the last couple of weeks. Mostly I've been busy on maths. And I did make some headway in um, the investigation of the Colatz conjecture. Um, but I've now sort of hit a bit of a wall again. So back to the models. Um, in the meantime, a couple of you have been making comments on various things. First thing I just wanted to show again, some of you asked. Now this, this brand name is somewhat not obvious to me and I have no idea what it is. But um, I just wanted to show that model number again. They should send me stuff since I'm advertising all their products for them. Um, there's some of the details. There's some details. Um, okay, so so this is what Wheelie Yellow used, I believe. Um, I, as I said previously, I wasn't specifically intending to try and get the exact one. Um, but then it happened to come up and it matched the number which a friend of mine had found for me. And I thought, okay, well, let's go ahead and get it. Um, so I am going to be going forward now and I just want to point out so these um, I don't even know what you call them these little things which attach the very thin plastic body can shift up and down and they've got little screws now whether you build yours on a similar chassis or just something of your own choosing this is sort of the starting point of getting an idea of what you can do with your uh, bodywork. So I at least know that I have about a centimeter's worth of movement where I can adjust the um, body up and down if I've sort of designed it and assembled it and I find it's a little bit high or low. So I have actually set this on the highest mark at the moment, although reasonably you should set it in the middle. So that you've got about half a centimeter to go up and half half a centimeter to go down. Although I'm guessing that, yeah, on average you might want more ground clearance than less. But anyway, um, I'm just showing you that's that's what we're working off. So those points there is what I will be fitting dowels onto, and I've decided to just do it on the inside. One could do it on the outside as well. Um, but uh, I don't see any particular reason to not just use the stability of being on the inside. Now these will only get attached, the, so once this framework is on it, it'll only get attached with um, a bit of elastic. So it'll be able to tilt over. Uh, so in other words, this won't be fixed on there. This will be able to sh shift up. And looking at the cross pieces, so the cross pieces would be on there, not not necessarily in that exact position. But um, to get wheelie to tip, this is sort of what would happen. It would just push against the rubber band, push against the rubber band. Um, okay, I have decided to go with dowels, uh, five and a half, six millimeter dowels. Uh, quite light, cheap, nice to work with, and somewhat strong. I think the wheelie build was done with balsa. I, I, at least the second one. Um, the first one, not that easy to tell, but it looks like balsa mostly, and that explains why it picked up so much damage. Um, okay, so just a point here. If, if your cross pieces, let me just use a reasonable size cross piece. If your cross piece is placed in line with the wheels like that, then when you go up and down, you're going to touch your wheel far easier. So the cross pieces have to be sort of about there, about there. In other words, just not on your wheel arches. So my two long pieces, which will represent the longer part, 
long parts of the chassis. I haven't trimmed these to the exact length that I want because I don't exactly know. And onto there will go four cross dowels. So, and this, this you can see in his build that he's done. He just didn't use dowels. You can get an idea of that structure. So we would have something like that. Now, how will I fix that? I will be using this glue gun um, and probably bits of wire um, I don't think I'm going to be remotely doing the same thing as a as a model aircraft build with wood glue and things like that this will be somewhat fast somewhat crude but stronger and sort of resilient now i've given up trying to find the aluminium wire that surrounds the windows the doors and various little features this is steel wire of around the right thickness but this is very strong so while i could use that um you can sort of foresee that you'll have a little bit of bending problems this is the thinner one so I will use that for many of the parts which used wire and if I happen to stumble upon that aluminium wire in the meantime then I'll grab some of that. So these these were pretty cheap at the hardware store. It's a long piece that I cut up. Um, now when his chassis, when his flat part of the chassis was done he then built the vertical framework. I'm going to do a different method on mine. So I will start putting this together um, and that will be the basis. But then it will be a cardboard um, shape cut out. Sides, top, everything. And it will get laminated in all of the... Um, the aluminium cans so this will be glued onto the cardboard with um, contact adhesive um, and folded over that's sort of an important thing um, try and plan your aluminium pieces to fold over the cardboard uh, towards the inside where you don't see it and if you actually look at wheelie builds you will see that um, quite often so you, you see almost nothing from the outside, but if you pay attention around the wheel wells and things like that, you see that that's, that's what was done. So it'll be glued and folded. Um, and it'll overlap since obviously these pieces are a little bit smaller. The red side will go to the inside, although it hardly matters because both, both sides of the can are um, plasticized to a degree. And I'll decide later... Well, I'll, I'll do a little trial on um, seeing if it's worth sanding that. But I, I don't really want to make more work than necessary. So sanding would obviously give your glue a better uh, grip to the cardboard. But I think it should be okay. Um, and it'll get sprayed in the end with the white paint. Um... when you plan your cross piece keep in mind now this is roughly in line with my wheels keep in mind uh, and as i've said it's not going to be positioned there but i'm just using this as a guide to show you related to the wheels that the body angle is is not not straight like that the body is at a bit of an angle um, something like that and then when it tips over when it tips over that part of the body which was at an angle would then be just about straight so your your wheel arches basically it's only the wheel arches because there's enough there's enough space in here to do everything the wheel arches would 
the bodywork bend over, not touch the wheel arches, so you just have to plan plan that bit of space. Um, so he has got a vertical framework and then wood um, looks like about three two millimeter three plywood for model aircraft three millimeter could also be used a little bit thick for the purposes here and I've decided not to do that for one important reason I don't really want my wheelie to have that sort of very flat side look and whatever whatever sides I've done I don't want it to look that flat so I've decided to go for cardboard so that I can get a little bit of an undulation but more importantly once it's all finished I can sort of you know bend and tweak and put little dents in everywhere um, and give it give it a lot of character and even give it you know actual damage to the um, to the aluminium work which will go just go through to the cardboard so while I don't want mine to be absolutely destroyed um, I do want it to have a lot of wear and tear character on it so if you are planning to do that the starting point is four cross dowels and two long dowels and I will be doing glue gun and a bit of that now keep in mind because it's just a flat a flat thing there's going to be a lot of ability to um, to twist and things like that and we will deal with that as it comes so by the next time you see me that'll be done it will be a um, a chassis that doesn't have a lot of rigidity until the bodywork goes on and we'll we'll look at that next time so I've got a piece of cardboard largish piece of cardboard I'm busy drawing out um, to the best of my estimate the shape of wheelie and I'm keep in mind I'm doing the old version not his new version wheelie um, I quite like the the look of the old van more than the new van <clears throat> if you're not sure what windows you're going to use try and scout around for a bit of clear type of plastic around one millimeter maybe even half a millimeter so this would be more than coke can thickness I do have some I think one one millimeter plastic here um, now the the what once you've got the chassis and once you've done the paneling for the sides and putting in windows and so on which we'll get to we'll cover that in in a, each step that's sort of the easy work the the slightly more difficult one is uh, when I say difficult um, intricate is just doing the electrics so I do want to have headlights tail lights indicators um, and the, the switches and the wiring for that that will go in afterwards but I do sort of need to plan how my wiring will run um, inside the folded cardboard and glued in place probably just with glue gun and where the switches will be I'm I don't think I'm going to be doing the switches on the dashboard like he has done um, I haven't really planned where but it must be more accessible from the outside so somewhere where you can just touch it underneath switch it on now like I said I can get away with that because I don't plan on doing all the things that he does with his um, my chassis is going to stay pretty clean um, so I can you know I'm, I'm only going to ride on grass or roads or sand but I'm not going to go through all of the puddles and stuff that he goes through um, that's all I can think of at the moment on that I've done nothing on plastic modeling oh, I did do some welding this morning I don't weld often but um, I welded the backs the back bracket where if you lean back on the office chairs um, they've designed those things in a very weak manner in that if you put enough force it just snaps the back out of the bracket because it's not very strong so I've welded 
two of the office chairs back together and we'll see if the welds hold under someone pushing back when we try that um, quite tricky welding uh, I've done you know I've, I've done enough to be able to do it but not enough to be good and definitely not enough to weld um, very very neat although when I did practice uh, at, at a stage I did do a couple of very very nice neat circular welds um, in a line but this is it's welding on a corner so it's 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 really difficult to keep keep the welding rod at just the right place but it's done not the easiest okay so ah last thing I can say is it's he he could get away with trimming all his pieces afterwards because he did balsa if you're going to do dowel which I sort of do recommend um, and you've built the chassis it's a lot harder to then hacksaw the, um, the these pieces off so what I might do is make my chassis do the cutoffs and then tell you what I think was a fair length to use which I mean at a rough guesstimate one could say about a centimeter longer than the wheel the wheel width I can't remember if that's called wheelbase what do you call that that distance on a vehicle and is that the wheelbase or is wheelbase between centers that's something I don't actually know um, so while I did cut these quite neatly to the same that's not to say that that is uh, the final final position so chassis flat part to be done while I'm also drawing wheelie okay next video won't be too long happy modeling cheers